and we are finally, after such a long time, starting the finals for the Symphony of the Night Randomizer Tournament. Defeating everyone that stood before them, we have the final two. The Swarm, in their first ever tournament appearance here in the finals, and Dinner Dog, who hasn't dropped a single game this entire tournament. So both of them on fantastic uh, tournament runs. And they started with the safe logic preset. So we're gonna see randomized item names, item stats. Um, we're gonna be seeing a complexity of nine minimum, uh, which essentially means, I mean, if you're watching the finals, you probably know what complexity is, but in case you don't, it essentially means that you need to find essentially a chain of nine progression items or relics before the game is considered completable. Uh, on the ninth step minimum, it could be higher technically, but on the ninth step minimum, you'll find your final Vlad relic, uh, which will give you access to the final boss fight, which will let you beat the game. And so far, it's incredibly close. I mean, do either of them really have an advantage? I guess Dinner Dog might be slightly ahead, but it's it's pretty much tied up to this point. So get those gambles in. Just kidding, I'm cutting it off now. And it is an even 50-50. Over a million channel points on the line here. And it looks like they're starting with a Firebrand? Or is that Marcel? I believe that is Marcel, actually. Okay, that is Marcel. Let's go ahead and give a quick listen in. The Dinner Dog's perspective here. Again, they're keeping it even. They're keeping it close. This is a good cape color. I, I do like this cape color. Early level up for Dinner Dog. Oh, no, it was uh, Swarm got the early level up. So Swarm actually has a small lead of about a few seconds. Ooh, Dinner Dog's slow to cancel that cutscene. It looks like Dinner Dog's starting off a little bit slow here. Maybe he just needs to warm up a little bit. But it looks like Swarm is actually going to be the one that's in the lead here for a second. Let's go ahead and listen in. Let me fix the double music here. Dark Armor, and what was the first item? I actually missed it. Dark Armor is great. It gives you immunity to any dark uh, attribute attacks. Mostly, like, you use it on Beezlebub. And, ooh, Power of Sire. Okay. Another Power of Sire drop for Dinner Dog. The fact that they are available like this early on could be meaningful. It's funny to see the difference in movement here. Yeah, Swarm cutting his jumps ever so slightly shorter. This is uh, some any percent practice coming into play here, giving maybe a small advantage. Doesn't pick up the sunglasses. I figure it's worth picking them up. Doesn't slow you down necessarily to pick them up. And since this is safe logic, the item uh, stats are randomized, which means that could technically be like a dragon helm or something. Because they're random, they're randomized amongst the um, item types, so all headpieces are randomized amongst each other. Uh, so the sprite in the name doesn't necessarily tell you what it actually is. You have to read the description of it. Speaking of, I just said Dark Armor matters. It doesn't. We don't know if Dark Armor matters or not. It looks like it was actually the Alucard mail. Uh-oh, Swarm messes up the Tetra Spirit. And just like that, Dinner Dog has a pretty big advantage. Uh-oh. We're looking at, like, almost 10 second lead now. And Dinner Dog's back in it. You love to see that uh, if you're a fan of Dinner Dog. Oh, but his strength isn't the best. That's going to slow him down in this hallway. Swarm does have better strength, so he two shots the bloody zombies instead of one shotting them. But he's taking hits to the face. It looks like both players are playing a wee bit nervous. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. This is looking a little rough. But regardless, Dinner Dog is in the lead here. Yeah, 4 minutes 30 seconds to get down here is definitely a little below average, I want to say. 
So it looks like both players are kind of <clears throat> struggling. Oh, I'm struggling to speak. Sorry. Both players are struggling. Oh, geez. <coughs> <clears throat> I'm struggling, you're struggling, we're all struggling. And there's nothing here for dinner, dog. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Had something stuck in my throat there. It's because I'm having some cashews. I think a little bit of cashew got stuck in my throat. Anyways... Dinner Dog maintaining that lead. No shield yet. They're just going to be backdashing around. Doesn't get hit by any of the flea men. That's great on his end. The flea men can be quite annoying. No relics found yet either. I mean, worst case scenario with a safe logic seed like this, you're going to find like what? Jewel of Open at somewhere in the library. And then you're stuck with this awkward 50-50 of, well, it's not technically a 50-50, but you're stuck with like two choices really to go to Caverns or to go to Castle Keep because they're both in logic with just Jewel of Open. So. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, Gravity Boots first would be more fun and lead to, I think, uh, better morale for these players. Because they did agree to play out all three matches today if it goes to three. So ideally, you don't want to um, be in a long war of attrition with like hour and a half long seeds. So, I mean, we'll see. If it does come to that, that's more content for us at the end of the day. So who am I to complain? Oh, Dinner Dog actually with the 69 HP. This is going to give him a small buff where he's fully invincible until he takes damage the next time. So you want to take advantage of the 69 HP as long as you possibly can. That invulnerability could be make or break so long as you don't take damage. It is a huge buff. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to let that go. Very weird that that's in the game, but you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> yeah, we're sitting at a pretty decent difference here. I didn't get a chance to read the description of the sunglasses there, but I, I mean, he puts it on either way. Swarm opens the menu for literally no reason, doesn't have anything going here. Now, depending on their strength values, this might matter how the fight ends up going. I know Dinner Dog didn't have amazing strength. It looks like Deer Dog's going for a slow but safe method for looping Doppelganger. It's slightly slower than just uh, immediately attacking him on the ground. Yeah, I think Swarm's doing it ever so slightly faster, but it's not that big of a deal. Necklace of Jay, we don't know if that's actually Necklace of Jay or not, or what it what its deal is. One of the reasons why safe logic is a little bit tough to keep up with is um, you see an item, it doesn't guarantee that it's anything good. That could be a sellable for all we know. I don't know. But yeah, 20 second difference for Dinner Dog. However, Dinner Dog might be throwing it all away by doing this check. It's Skill of Wolf. If Swarm decides to go into the library right here, right now, he saves all that time back. However, Swarm is not going to the library. Yeah, early library is considered uh, pretty good in situations like this, since it's a two-thirds chance that you're finding progression in the library as opposed to outer wall. But, oh, Swarm now with the 69 HP. This might be what Swarm needs to, to catch up. Still a little bit behind. Ooh, Swarm also grabbing the warp right now. Dinner Dog, I don't believe, grabbed the warp yet. So this makes sense because uh, get, grabbing this warp is important to come back later because you want to come back once you have missed. However, if Dinner Dog finds library cards, that warp basically doesn't matter anymore because using library cards ends up, ends up being faster to get to this side of the castle as opposed to using warps most of the time. Just kidding, Dinner Dog already grabbed it. I am a liar. I am a liar. I lied. I am a liar. Swarm also did skip Skill of Wolf, which is interesting. I mean, it was right there. Might as well grab it. It also could be a progression item. Not a lot of people know this, but it is in logic to get to the mines uh, by using a wolf jump to cross the gap with the um, 
the waterfall. However, you don't necessarily need it because Swarm could always use the uh, player two triangle trick to break the bridge manually, but you know, it is what it is. All I do is uh, eat cashews and lie. Everyone knows this. I'm interested. And real quick, we're getting ourselves a little bit of shop time. Jewel of Open at the shop, everyone's favorite. Dinner Dog doesn't even read the rest of the freaking shop. He's like, fuck it. There's, no, there's nothing else to see here. He didn't have the money for it either. Aren't you guys glad that Relic is worth $0, by the way? Imagine they had to sit here and grind for $500 while Swarm has only 25 in his inventory. That'd be miserable. Also, the shop doesn't look very good. Is this even randomized? True. Uh-oh, cursed on Dinner Dog screen. Doesn't really matter. He's still quite a ways uh, ahead. It would be an expression of skill, yes. Who can get luckier the fastest? An expression of skill. My favorite expression, even. <coughs> All right. And Dinner Dog is opting to go to the caverns. I believe this is overall the correct play. The only downside is worst case scenario is you end up in a situation where you get um, like Leap Stone at um, whole, uh, Merman Statue location. Because then you can't warp back to Outer Wall. But it's not the end of the world, I guess. Because you could just go into Coliseum at that point. I don't know. It's a tough call. They're... Neither of them are opening the shortcut in Castle Entrance. So they're both at the same disadvantage. And they're both going the same way. So overall, routing-wise, there's not going to be a major um, difference right now. It's just down to execution. Dim Dum set. We'll see if this ends up mattering for Dinner Dog, but Dinner Dog holding on to his lead. It's not a massive, massive lead. It's not like game determinative right now, but it is nice. It is nice to be ahead by a little bit, but Swarm doing a great job of not necessarily bleeding all of his time loss into um, like snowballing into more and more time loss so far. The only downside is Swarm did skip Skill of Wolf and that might come into play later. Plus five defense? Yeah, might as well put it on. Yeah, it feels like Swarm overall maybe feeling a little indecisive. He's been opening the map a lot. Yeah, it's mostly just the gap from the Slogger and Gaibon fight. Everything else is, like, negligible. I think Dinner Dog's lead is a little bit larger now because of the opening the menu again. Damn, Dinner Dog with 65... HP, unfortunate. He's going to need to find 4 HP real quick if he wants that buff. Ooh. That's a little too much HP, Dinner Dog. I recommend taking some damage if you can. It was a good fight, though. And Spirit Orb, which means we are now in a 50-50 of the two most far uh, checks in the entire game. Pretty much. Ooh, Swarm goes out of his way for Moonstone right away. And Swarm's going to use Power of Sire versus Scylla. I don't think this is necessarily the greatest use of Power of Sire, but... I mean, it's not the worst. Because, like, a Light Breeze can kill Scylla. A double level up is strange. So, Swarm leveled up off of the Scylla Worm, as well as Scylla herself at the same time. Very interesting. Did Dinner Dog just go for a save split? Perhaps? I mean, he saved the game. He could always go down into the mines out of logic and check down there. Oh, Dinner Dog pushing the box, the developer intended strat to get past those spear guards. You love to see it. Is Moonstone independent of your time zone? Uh, no, it's actually, um, um, it only counts. Hawaii time for some reason. Ooh, that could be good. 
No, Moonstone determines your time based off of the in-game timer. Uh, I think canonically the game starts at midnight. And what's considered nighttime is anywhere from mid uh, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. So for the first six hours of your playtime, Moonstone is active. And then afterwards, you have 12 hours of uh, Sunstone being active. I believe that is correct. But yeah, it uses the in-game time and not like a console clock because the console clock, uh, there is no console clock for the PS1 from my understanding. Oh, it was some sort of thrust sword actually now that I'm seeing it. Or no, Dinner Dog gets a random thrust sword. I see, I see. Oh, and Girthing is actually, ooh, so much stuff is happening. So Girthing is actually Mornblade. Swarm gets an item called Dragon Helm as a random drop. Oh, that's the thrust sword, and Swarm skips it. But Gravity Boots is right there. Oh, but Dinner Dog now has access to full flight. Because Swarm didn't grab the thrust sword. Oh, my God. I wonder if he's going to go back for that. Because Swarm did jump to try and grab it. This is why you go about those item checks in a specific way. I think Dinner Dog went about it the correct way. Because, like, you don't know what those items are going to be, so you always go for them. Because you can't get all three if you don't have multiple, like, forms of flight or whatever. It's so strange. So you can jump down the left side and grab two on the left side, or you jump under the waterfall and get one. Those are your options. But now this is an even bigger advantage for Dinner Dog. What will Swarm do with this information? He could opt to just skip uh, some locations. He's been opening his menu a lot. I think Swarm is just flustered, maybe? It looks like the sword sucks ass, though. It's not even one-shotting the bloody zombies. So it's not very good for combat. If Swarm goes up... Yeah, he's kind of banking on either coming back here later... Or finding flight soon. Oh, and it's gold ring. It's required, so he can't skip it. If his goal is to skip that location, like, that, that's bad. Technically, holy glasses could be bait. It's not impossible, but that's kind of unlikely in a uh, seed like this. Ooh, wow. This is tough. Genuinely, this is tough. Dinner Dog might die, though. Just stop using the this that shitty sword. Just equip a different sword, dinner dog. I mean, he's not dead yet, so it doesn't matter, but it's got me nervous. Jeez. Yeah, dinner dog finding that thrust sword. And swarm just not Oh, Herald Shield is a drop, and now he has shields uh dashing. To save even more time, Dinner Dog in a great spot. Wow. I mean, Swarm has the chance to maybe catch up. But as of right now, Dinner Dog definitely with the advantage having Gold Ring already. And if only Swarm had, like, jumped down the waterfall differently, he also would have had that Thrust Sword. I mean, most that's just one of those things you don't think about as a player. You don't think about optimizing, like, item checks like that. But Dinner Dog happened to do it, so because of that, he ends up in a great spot. Yeah, it's still not over for Swarm, but for how the things are looking right now, I mean, I'll switch over to Swarm's uh, audio, just because because they're ahead, but like if Holy Glasses happens to have nothing important or if it has something like um, Echo or something, then or Spike Breaker even, then it's not that big of a deal, so. Thank you for the Prime, uh, Krothar, or Krothar, however you say it. So Swarm might end up in a better spot because of it, saving a little bit of time. 
by skipping that check, but he might go check it later anyways. We don't know. But as of right now, Swarm has the potential to skip that um, that gold ring, and that might end up mattering. We don't know yet. It's still still early on in the seed. Ice Brand. Damn, a lot of random drops this seed. I don't think any of them are, have particularly mattered that much except for the shield for Dinner Dog, just increasing movement speed, but... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, Dinner Dog is also going to have access to checking um, Gravity Boots right now, where Swarm will not, so it's a more efficient way to check Gravity Boots. Oof. And that's a sellable ring. We'll see how this goes, depending on what's there. To be fair, Swarm is getting to the next complexity location faster than Dinner Dog, but Dinner Dog is doing more efficient checks. So we'll see what ends up mattering uh, in the long run here. What does Dinner Dog find? It is, ooh, Soul of Wolf. That might be, requ oh, and there's Power of Wolf, wow. Wait. Is this a mines seed? Is it in logic to go to the mines? It is, right? Skill of wolf, power of wolf. Wolf. Oh, but wolf was flight, so no. Never mind, it's not a mine seed. I was thinking for a second, because there, there are seeds where uh, the intended logic is that you get the wolf upgrades to jump over the waterfall to break the bridge to go into the mines, but not in this, um, not in this scenario. Wow, okay. And Swarm is warping to... The library, yeah. That makes sense. Oh, and Dinner Dog is passing on Power of Wolf. I mean, it makes sense. It's a slow check to get. Maybe he comes back later once he has Mist to grab it. Swarm still skipping Skill of Wolf, interestingly enough. And Swarm has opened his menu just to check his items like 15 times. Like he doesn't change his equipment or anything, he's just checking. Now the question is, Dinner Dog has access to all rocks entirely. Will he do it right now? Or will he warp away and come back later? If I'm Dinner Dog, I'm not doing all rocks. Nope, I agree. I think you're better off um, doing like uh, Fire of Bat, and then going Castle Keep, yep. I think the route Dinner Dog is taking is a route I would take as well. Because I feel like All Rocks early just doesn't feel great. It's kind of slow. You don't have like a lot of magic. Um, yep, and it's Leapstone. So like, Swarm's not in a terrible spot. Because like, he could also now do um, Fire of Bat and stuff like that. But what is Swarm doing? Buying a shield maybe? I'm, I'm interested in this. And Dinner Dog finds nothing. Elixir might be worth buying, yeah. Increase MP restoration rate. Wait, I'm just realizing their sword is cracked as hell. Because, like, Swarm's attack right now is 102. That's crazy. Farewell for now. Yeah, Swarm might be doing some out-of-logic spike breaker shenanigans. But 102 base damage is inc is crazy. And it heals. Yeah, that's like an that's a top tier, top, top, top tier weapon right there. Holy crap. I didn't realize how much damage out. And that's without any extra um stat buffs, if I'm not mistaken. That's crazy. Either way, Swarm is not in, like, the worst position ever, but it really feels much better for Dinner Dog. It really does. It really, really does.
I mean, he cleared the entirety of uh, the the clock tower, and Swarm is behind that much minimum, plus the two checks he hasn't done yet. I, I think Dinner Dog just has like a massive advantage now. Ooh, Echo found. Dinner Dog doesn't have Leapstone. However, Dinner Dog also knows that all he's missing in the library is Leapstone. He doesn't necessarily need it. Swarm could have better movement because of Leapstone, however, to make up some time. Because Leapstone does help in big rooms like this. You can dive kick and then gravity jump over and over again. Or you could just... I mean, he's doing item checks. That's fine. He's doing item checks. He's doing item checks. Copium. Some extra sword checks, I guess. It's not the worst idea. Power of Mist found. And Gas Cloud also found. Is Dinner Dog not going to grab Power of Mist? Oh, he's setting up the, the movement here. Okay, gotcha. Wants to make sure to not get hit by any flea men. Makes sense. I mean, I understand skipping Skill of Wolf because you haven't found Wolf yet. So it's like, oh, I haven't found Wolf yet. Skill of Wolf is just time loss because I'm not even going to get a chance to use it. And to be fair, Dinner Dog has Wolf and hasn't once used Skill of Wolf. So we'll see. It looks like uh, All Rocks is next in logic, right? And Dinner Dog has the warp right here. Yeah. And, oh, it's you get flight to get wolf and then check all rocks. That's the, 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 the chain, it seems like. Wow. Yeah. I mean, Dinner Dog doing these checks now doesn't particularly... It's not like he wasted time because he needed to go to Castle Keep anyways. So likely, you're either going to find... You're just going to find uh, Holy Glasses, right? Or it's the other ring. Dinner Dog is either going to find the other ring, Holy Glasses, or Mist. Those are the only options. Oh, Merman Statue as well. So four options. Glasses, Ring, Mist, or Merman Statue is going to be behind all rocks, if I had to guess. Unless Wolf is nothing and then Silver or... But it has to be either all rocks or Sword Card, essentially. Yeah, if it's the other ring, it's kind of game over for Swarm. I do agree. That's just too much advantage for Dinner Dog. It just means his routing is so much more efficient, and Swarm is going to be, like, backtracking through all these areas before eventually finding the, the correct location to go to. And Dinner Dog is already pretty well ahead. This could be a zero game loss streak for Dinner Dog all the way to beat everybody and, and win the tournament. This match isn't over yet. There's still plenty of ways that um, Dinner Dog could throw. He could end up skipping an important Vlad Relic. There's zero Vlad Relics found so far. So if Dinner Dog goes in completely un... Okay, so Wolf is not in logic. Oh, I mean, yeah, Grand Floon is also in logic right now, too. I forgot about that. Grand Floon is in logic. So it's Sword Card or Grand Falloon, which means the transformation doesn't matter. Interesting. Yeah, we were kind of tunnel visioned on the transformation unlocking all rocks, but it, it, it didn't end up being progression. Ooh, Swarm is going to be finding Wolf right now, it seems. And then a random Vlad here. So it is Grand Falloon. So now things get interesting. Where's Dinner Dog going? Yeah, okay. He's not opening the shortcut. So now the seed is forcing them to go down into the, the, the mines and then into the catacombs. Ideally, when you go down there to check um, Grand Falloon, you also want to check Spike Breaker as well. So... Swarm has been practicing um, out of logic spike breaker with only using two um, potions essentially for iframes. I don't know if Dinner Dog is going to be comfortable doing uh, something like that. I guess Succubus is also in logic as well. 
now that I think about that as well. I'm missing... Damn, this seed is kind of making them backtrack a lot. Very unfortunate. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. Very standard safe seed. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it gets much better than this, to be honest. Unless you find, like, early bat somehow, but that's super duper unlikely. I think bat layer zero is literally impossible in safe logic. Is this going to be over an hour? It's feeling like a, an over an hour seed, yeah. But that's safe logic for you. Safe logic, oftentimes, the, the seeds last this long. If not, you know, like an hour ten is... Not uncommon. Nice little uh, skip there from Dinner Dog. So the only thing now that Swarm is missing is the random Vlad and the um, Gold Ring that Dinner Dog has done. So he's not that far behind, but it's not great. Yeah, the randomized sprites do make the uh, food items look particularly unappealing. Swarm doesn't miss the Eye of Lad. That's good. Swarm often use Wolf here. Interesting. Not a terrible idea, I guess. And nothing at Succubus, so it is indeed... Looking like a grand Falloon seed here. Succubus was a bust. I mean, you know. It is indeed grand Falloon time. Um... They haven't done the mines at all yet, actually. So I guess there's always the possibility it's also um, demon card. If it's demon card, that's good for Dinner Dog, assuming Dinner Dog isn't comfortable doing um, out of logic spike breaker, because Dinner Dog could always come back and do both. However, in general, I think if they're going down this way, they should try and do spike breaker as early as possible. But we'll see. Neither of them have library cards either if memory serves correct. So going to the second castle early is going to suck. Because you, it looks like it's pretty much guaranteed they're going to have to come back to the first castle to check at least one or two things for that final Vlad. So because of this, maybe early Spike Breaker doesn't matter that much, depending on what's there. It could be missed, actually. If it's missed at Spike Breaker, that could matter a lot. Yeah, Dinner Dog doing all of this without Leapstone, mind you. Oh my god. So Spike Breaker has Holy Glasses because we found Echo earlier. Wow. Okay, well, that was Swarm's advantage was doing Out of Logic Spike Breaker. But that's no longer the case. Damn, Dinner Dog with a minimum three minute lead right now. Crazy. Yeah, it's either Mist, Holy Glasses, or Merman Statue. Those are the only three options at Spike Breaker right now. Dinner Dog takes his time, lines up the blind Spike Room movement here. Sets it up to not mess up the downward wing smash either. Taking it slow and steady, which is better than what a lot of competitors have ran into, which is them just constantly bonking into spikes over and over again. 
because they try and go too fast. So I, I respect that. I respect the, the slow and steady approach. And it is Silver Ring. So we're looking at Vanilla Holy Glasses, Mist, or Merman at the Holy Glasses location. What the frick is this seed? What is going on? What if nine complexity, the ninth step in the complexity chain, is Holy Glasses? Or it would be the eighth, which means the second castle is the ninth step which means the, the second castle is just the la like where the last Vlad Relic is? That's possible. It'd be absurd. It very, very rarely happens. But like, all that needs to happen is for the next Relic that Dinner Dog finds, he's not checking Grand Falloon either. Maybe Dinner Dog is thinking, oh, Swarm always skips Grand Falloon. Therefore, I will also skip Grand Falloon? What if, now hear me out, multi-month-long, tournament-wide conditioning from Swarm here. Swarm tells everybody, oh, I, I always skip Grand Falloon. Grand Falloon's just a waste of time. Never go to Grand Falloon. Just to pull it out. The last minute, when he feels behind, in the tournament finals, will he go to Grand Falloon? Baiting everybody in the tournament into thinking, oh, Swarm always skips Grand Falloon, so I'll skip Grand Falloon as well. Dude, they could have gotten Soul of Bat so much earlier if they did this out of logic. That's crazy. Imagine a world where they check the mines first for some reason. That would be absurd. It's not necessarily a great play. Maybe you could save split for it, but it's still, it would have been dumb. Straight up stupid, even. Now, let's see it. Swarm, does it... Do you have it in you to check Grand Falloon? Surely you're checking Spike Breaker first, but still. Oh! He's going Grand Falloon! He did it! He baited everybody! He baited everybody. No, he's just checking the items. Never mind. False alarm, people. He's just checking the items. So now things are really bad because Swarm doesn't have Gold Ring. Although Swarm has done every flight location check. Uh-oh. So Swarm should be aware. That it has to be at Castle Entrance next, I believe. Swarm really forcing his way through, but he has 15 elixirs, so I guess it's not that that scary. Oh, I saw Bek uh, Bekatawa in their inventory is um, Malblong. That's the only item I was able to read the description of on Swarm's end. And it's Vanilla Holy Glasses. Wow. So now the last two relics that lead to progression is Merman Statue and Mist. Now, can we count the complexity to determine which one they're going to find? Let's find out. It was layer zero, Jewel of Open. So then into Gravity Boots, into Leapstone, into Bat, plus Echo, into Rings, into Glasses, into something, into something, into Final Vlad. So both are in logic then? To get to nine? If my calculations are correct? Oh, Spike Breaker is also in the chain. I forgot. I always forget about Spike Breaker. Good call, Fran. Hmm. So two out of the three remaining uh, progression items, Mist, Merman, and Spike Breaker, have to be used. So two out of three have to be used minimum. Technically, three out of three is possible if they find a uh, 10 complexity seed, but we'll get there when we get there. Yeah. 
Swarm is safe split in Grand Falloon? I... Oh, because he doesn't know where the ring is. Yeah, that makes sense. Because from Swarm's perspective, either Grand Falloon has the ring or Castle Entrance has the ring, so safe splitting there actually makes a lot of sense. Because he will do whatever it takes to not do Grand Falloon unless he absolutely has to. Yeah. So he should be on his way to Castle Entrance right now. Oh, Dinner Dog not with enough MP to Soul Steal, maybe? Getting his Oh, he's getting beat up by Richter. Okay, Dinner Dog's fine. Whew. I mean, I respect it, you know? Dinner Dog has a lead. He doesn't know he has a lead, but he has a lead. And, like, I don't know. If you're already struggling to do the spell and you ran out of magic, just, like, you know. Yeah, you have extra power of sires. Might as well. Okay, Swarm finds both uh, rings. Could have found this a long time ago if he had that thrust sword, though, unfortunately. And now we'll be struggling to go back to castle um the clock room to finally get holy glasses meanwhile dinner dog's just in the second castle at 40 45 swarm is probably like four minutes behind at this point which even a left side gamble i don't think is enough to say four minutes when there's four missing vlad relics i don't see that being a viable gamble here. I, I feel like the entirety of the second castle is probably going to get checked regardless. Uh, ooh, that could be Alucard Shield. If that's Alucard Shield, Swarm is does have access to Alucard Shield and um, Shield Rod, basically. Hmm. Their dog is doing right side. Swarm doing Forbidden Route. That's how you know the route is good. Library card? Wait, did Swarm just get a library card? No. It was Dinner Dog that just got a library card? Who got a library card? You guys are saying library card. Who who got it? Swarm got Alucard Shield? Oh. It is Alucard Shield. Got it, got it, got it. I mean, this is looking rough for Swarm. Swarm has a few things going for him, don't get me wrong. I mean, Alucard Shield is great. But I don't think the time save is going to matter that much because Dinner Dog has a sword that does like 100 damage per swing. And the bosses don't take that much time. They don't take four minutes extra. So I don't know. We'll see what Swarm decides to do here, though. Dernog's just been killing it. He looked a little shaky in the first, like, two or three minutes, but now it's, like, absurd. Like, I haven't seen him falter really at all this entire time, which is amazing. You, you genuinely love to see some clean gameplay. Swarm, I feel like, just got a little unlucky without finding the um, the Thrust Sword. Because he was playing really, really well up to that point, but then he just lost out on so much advantage. Like, it just happens. You, you just miss out on uh, a lot of uh, item checks. So, it is what it is. Come on, man. They did like no damage. Uh oh. What? Why do you take the Gur thing off? Just to put it back on. Dinner Dog. Uh oh. I was saying you were playing so clean. You just need to know how to manipulate this guy. Yeah. You you want him to do one of his attacks over and over again, and then you jump slash him over and over again, like that. Basically, what Dinner Dog is doing, just hitting him more often. 
Because if you hit him while he's walking towards you and not currently doing attack, that's how the mist gets sprayed out of his stinky body. And you definitely don't want to get poisoned. You don't want to get hit by the mist. So... The sword might reduce defense. Eh, it's possible, yeah. How long will the seed go if Grand Floon has a random Vlad? Great question. Forever. <laughs> I think Swarm has to just concede if it's at Grand Floon, right? It's like in his blood. It's in his bones. He hates checking Grand Floon that much that he'll just concede. He'll just alt F4. <laughs> he'll just sit right outside the Grand Floon boss fight and just not do anything. We'll see, we'll see. While the seed is uh, winding down a little- Oh, Swarm clipped through the stairs? A glitch in my tournament? Ban that guy. Chat. Oh, library card. Never mind. He's unbanned. He's that library card might actually matter because I don't think Dinner Dog has one. Will that one library card save four minutes? Actually, what is this? Six minutes now? Nearly six minutes of time save. Swarm needs to do left side into library card to save all that time, I think. And right side needs to be essentially barren. Left side plus library card might actually get him back into this. I was going to say, as things are winding down and we're just waiting to find the Vlad Relics in the second castle, uh, not much to talk about, but I'm lying. There's, there's still much to talk about. Depending on what route Swarm takes here, Swarm is known to be a left side gamer a lot of the time. He's a left side truther, even. Oh, and Dinner Dog doesn't have Leapstone. All of his boss fights uh, that require Leapstone are going to be a lot less efficient. This being one of the major ones that you definitely want to have Leapstone for. I forgot Dinner Dog never grabbed Leapstone. I would Soul Steal if I was Dinner Dog right now. Just because it hits both of them and it's pretty efficient. But yeah, I guess he doesn't want to lose the MP, but you could always refill it afterwards. Oh my god. Grant, calm down. Ralph Melmont didn't put up a fight, but Grant will. Thank you, Yamakaze. Shout out to everybody who has been watching the streams, been watching the YouTube vids on Dragon Blitz Daily, who's been subbed to the main channel, subbed to Dragon Blitz Daily. I appreciate all the support we've gotten over this last year. It's been genuinely amazing. Um, I guess I could also put this here. I forgot that I put it here. We are still working towards that uh, goal of uh, Partner Plus, and so I do have an incentive to learn and execute the Blindfolded Symphony of the Night. Any percent speed run, if we hit enough Tier 3 subs, because Tier 3 subs is the best way to hit Partner Plus. Sorn didn't get the warp, did he? I'm glad everyone who's able to catch live is, uh, is here right now. No, he did grab it? Okay, Sorm is going left side. All right. This is it, baby. Left side gaming. This could be what it takes. Granted, a Vlad Relic at Trio does make left side less appealing. However, it wasn't a progression item. And right now, getting the progression item early might matter more. We'll see. We'll see. Ooh, poisoned! Dinner Dog! He's gonna have to be careful here. Ooh, but he doesn't have a good shield. He doesn't have Alucard shield to keep him safe. He doesn't have an anti-venom either. He's looking through his menu. Life Apple, but he doesn't have a, a, a fairy card. He's just gonna have to use an elixir and man up. Man, in this case, uh, is uh, meant to be non-gendered, but still. We'll have to human up, if you will. Uh, why did that do that? Can we... Can we... Chill? Is 
looking scary. You also don't refill magic while you're being poisoned. This is a lot of time to sink into one boss fight. His stats are also a lot worse. I would use the power of Sire. Transform into bat right after. Oh, he tried to. Oh, that's enough. Meanwhile, Swarm clears the entirety of the uh, outer wall and the clock tower in that time. And he finds a random Vlad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, but that's missed. Ah. Ooh, that's, that's rough. That's rough because it's likely that that's a that's like the direct progression. Then you go to Soul of Bat to find your next uh, uh, relic, or you might even be able to skip progression by checking um, uh, out of logic um, Silver Ring. So that's that's rough for Swarm. That's genuinely very very rough for Swarm. I don't think Dinner Dog is going to be skipping um, Creature in this scenario. He already skipped Grand Falloon. I have a hard time feeling he's going to skip Creature as well. Um, a solid idea for Dinner Dog would be to rush going back to the library as soon as possible to get what is likely either Merman... <gasps> He's fine. Everything's fine. As long as he doesn't get hit by a cock laser, Dinner Dog is fine. Surely he doesn't get hit by a cock laser! Ah! <laughs> that was so close! The cock laser comes for us all. Emphasis on comes. Oh my god. Oh my god, he might be going for the save split. If he skips creature, that would be crazy. Genuinely crazy. He's so freaked out, he can't even do gravity jumps right now. He can't even wing smash, he's so freaked out. He doesn't save the game. He's skipping creature! Maybe he got shook from almost dying. There's Spike Breaker. Okay, so Mist is guaranteed to be the progression item, which means behind Mist, it's a 50-50 that either Soul of Bat or Silver Ring has Merman Statue. Merman Statue leads to the last five relic. Wow. Oof. This might be a swarm win because of the library card now. Because Dinner Dog is so, so screwed. Ooh, find Spike Breaker. I wonder if that changes his mind on... Um... He'll likely do a save before going to... Um... To death, is my guess. Fairy scroll. Interesting. Dare Dog will likely save before going to death. And that will be his chance to save split and come back for creature, but we'll see. Dare Dog should be able to loop um just fine here. Man, there's no way Swarm comes back after all of this. He was six minutes behind. Wow. I mean, with this, I think we officially switch audio over to Swarm, who seems to be doing just fine. Only behind one random Vlad has their own extra random Vlad on top of that. Grand Falloon could be the deciding factor. Yeah, you're not wrong. If Grand Falloon has a random Vlad, that would be absolutely insane. Deer Dog's not saving. Deer Dog is fully abandoning Creature. Zero backup plan to go back to Creature at some point. Wow. That's so ballsy. With two random Vlads missing, 
out of the five, six locations that it could be, because Deer Dog has knowledge that um, one of the missed locations is a random location now. It's very strange. Mm. Swarm does have access to Alucard Shield spell. Dinner Dog does not, though. Dinner Dog didn't find the Alucard Shield. Swarm low key kind of got away with murder with some of these item checks. The library card is one of the things that helps Swarm out so much here. However, Swarm is going to full clear the castle before going back. Same with Dinner Dog, most likely. And Dinner Dog will full clear before Swarm, but Swarm has access to a library card? Oh, but Dinner Dog's not actually going to full clear because he's not, he hasn't done Creature. Ooh, wow, this is tough. Yeah, both, both missed checks could have um, Vlad Relics. That is possible. Because the mischeck that is Soul of Bat would be a random Vlad, and then the one behind Spike Breaker would be the final Vlad. Because the one that's behind, uh, sorry, Silver Ring. Yeah, so it's both missed locations. Sorry, it's actually not both missed locations. It is guaranteed to be Soul of Bat has a Vlad Relic. And, um, wait, no, it's not guaranteed at all. So one of the missed locations has a Vlad Relic, and um, Merman statue leading to Holy Symbol has the other Vlad relic, sorry. So Holy Symbol and a mislocation are the final two Vlads. One of the mislocations has to be uh, Merman statue though. Unless Grand Floon has one, yes. We're talking about a world where Grand Floon doesn't have one. Sorry, I'm not very, I wasn't being very clear about what I was trying to say. In a world where Grand Floon doesn't have a random Vlad, it has to be a missed location uh, guaranteed to be the random Vlad. The final Vlad is guaranteed to be at Holy Symbol. I wasn't paying attention. What did Gallimoth have? Uh, I think it was Force of Echo. Basically nothing. They're not saving the game. Yeah, I guess just in case you mess up the um, the fight versus Gallimoth. Swarm having access to that Alucard shield helps so much. Genuinely. Because Dinner Dog is losing, honestly, a decent amount of time with each of these fights. However, Dinner Dog will be leaving the first castle earlier. But it all depends on when Dinner Dog figures out to go to Creature. That is the determining factor of who ends up winning this race. Because Swarm is going to check tr Trio. That's that's perfectly fine. In fact, Swarm won't find Mist until the very last um, um, location, which is actually fine for Swarm, because Swarm gets to full clear the second castle, be 100% certain that he's not missing a Vlad Relic here, and then library card as soon as he finds Mist, and then once he library cards, he ends up in the library where he can check Soul of Bat. So overall, this is looking really good for Swarm. Dirdog is still fighting this dumbass. How is he not dead yet? Swarm has cleared, like, an entire area. And homie's still not dead. Dude, Alucard Shield helps so much for this fight alone. That's with a 100-plus attack sword. Yeah, Gallimoth just has too much fucking health. Well, that's the thing is Dinner Dog is likely going to be checking everything in the first castle before going back to the second castle, which gives Swarm an advantage. Wait, when did Dinner Dog save? S did he do a double save split somewhere or is he just reset? Re is he back in reverse caverns? Yeah, floating catacombs. He just save split to go back to before Gallimaw? This is the very start of the area. Okay, he did a double save split. Okay, that that's fine. I was wondering where that save came from. This is tough. This is just game one, by the way. In case you guys were, weren't aware, this is game one. We got 
possibly two more games after this to determine who the actual winner is. Who picked the seed? Uh, the seed itself is random. The counter picks went like Swarm banned uh, Guarded OG, Daredog banned Nimble and Lycanthrope, I believe, and then Swarm picked Safe Logic. If you're not sure how the counter pick system works, exclamation mark tournament in the Twitch chat will uh, bring up the um, the rules and like the whole document that explains the tournament. Yep, we're over one hour for the seed. Over one hour. Deer dog backtracking for creature? I guess he's missing two random Vlads. And he needs to go back to the first castle. He's going for creature. Wow. Wait. If Dinner Dog did the other save split, the one that you do before death, he would have been in a much better position, it seems like. Huh. Well. Now things are getting a little interesting. Because it seems like they're both going to be going back to the first castle around the same time now. The library card will make the difference for sure for Swarm because he's about to get um, Form of Mist here in a second. Dinner Dog is going to be getting the random Vlad and then warping from Outer Wall. Did he get the castle entrance warp? Did Dinner Dog do the castle entrance warp? I don't think he did. Maybe he did actually. No, he should have. He should have. Dinner Dog should have done the castle entrance warp. So Swarm is going to hit the library first, for sure. But Dinner Dog will have access to Silver Ring first. So now it's a 50-50 of, is Silver Ring in logic first? Like, it does Silver Ring have Merman Statue? Or does Soul of Bat have Merman Statue? Because one of those has to have Merman Statue. Swarm's going to go back to the first castle first because library cards are just so fast. Dinner Dog has to do a warp animation and then travel to the actual physical warp location. And Swarm with a lead. Straight up, he was behind by six minutes. And now Swarm is ahead. It was so hard to believe that a library card could save six minutes, but it wasn't just the library card. It was the library card on top of having the Alucard shield on top of going left side, I feel like. And Dinner Dog also not checking Creature when he did. If Dinner Dog had done Creature, he would have, I think, been ahead by another minute or so. Or if he did a better save split for Creature even. A lot of decisions ended up mattering. The seed for routing, that is. I mean, Swarm's random items he found are obviously, like, insane. But he was behind by six minutes. It was hard to believe that th those items would matter that much. He's grabbing even more items. He's... Oh, there it is. Yep, Merman statue, and that's guaranteed. And now it's a 50-50 for the final Vlad to either be Grand Falloon or Silver Ring. Ideally... For Swarm, it's at Grand Flume because it's actually better for him. But Dinner Dog is going this way first, yeah. Yeah. So Dinner Dog might be finding the random Vlad here, which might matter. The optimal play for Swarm, as far as density goes, is to go down to get the final Vlad and then go to Grand Falloon afterwards, maybe with a save split of some sort before um, using the Mines Warp. But man. Oh, Dinner Dog with Knights. Maria Skip.
it's so hard to calculate what Swarm is going to do, because it, it's going to matter a lot which Relic he decides to go to after going to Holy Symbol. What does Dinner Dog find here? What's it going to be? It's at Silver Ring. Now things are a little spicy. When is Dinner Dog going to go? Now, does Dinner Dog think this is the final Vlad? Has he calculated that it's actually not the final Vlad? One. Two. Does he go to the library right now? Dinner Dog, if he did the complexity count in his head, he should know that Merman statue is required. And he's going in that direction towards the warp. He could be warping to the mines for all we know. To check Grand Falloon. So we don't know yet. Swarm is getting the final Vlad right now. And now, Swarm will most likely check Grand Falloon after this. Unless he is so insanely stubborn about skipping Grand Falloon. That even in a 50-50 where it's closer to go to Grand Falloon, he still leaves to check Spy uh, Silver Ring. I think Swarm might have it. Just due to the Alucard Shield for damage. There's the other Vlad Relic, and it all comes down to this. Where's Dinner Dog going? If he stops here, he loses. If he stops here, he loses. He didn't stop. He knows. He counted. He counted to nine. Holy shit. Also, skipping Grand Floon ended up being fine, which is so fucking funny. Swarm should definitely save split, for sure. He's probably going to save split once he hits the mines, or sorry, the uh, catacombs. He'll save split at the start of catacombs, then check Grand Floon, most likely. That's what I would do, at least, without an extra library card. He might not be going Grand Floon. He might be just be going to the warp. It's very possible. This is the fastest warp to go to. Oh, he's saving here. I guess that works too. So no, he's going Grand Floon. He is going Grand Floon. Also, I think it would have been more efficient to actually leave the caverns to get to Silver Ring and not warp there. So he is going Grand Floon, unless he's doing a suboptimal route to get to Silver Ring. He's doing a suboptimal route to get to Silver Ring. I guess he wants the save split in case. Wow. He will do whatever it takes to skip Grand Flynn. <laughs> so, okay, he did the suboptimal route so he could have the save split as a backup. So it's not actually suboptimal. It is a value play. As far as pure, like, movement goes, it was suboptimal, but... He also is under the impression of like, well, it's a 50-50 and I need to guess correctly here, but the save split will help me uh, in case I guess wrong. So this is looking like a Swarm W, yep. Swarm's fervent, just despisal. These are words I'm making up on the fly right now. Of Grand Falloon. Won him this race. Also, Dinner Dog with his not checking uh, creature thing, but that's understandable. It happens. There was a lot of chances for Dinner Dog to make a play in the second castle to make up for the fact that he didn't have as good, uh, um, like he didn't have the library card and he didn't have uh, good combat. But Swarm is just going to have all five Vlad relics first. And he has better damage for the final fight. So, unless Swarm somehow dies right here. He didn't die. Damn, library card go crazy. That library card 100% one Swarm the seed, though. If he didn't have that library card, he's losing, like, another four, maybe, like, three minutes to get back to the first castle. But here it is. This is basically a victory lap for Swarm unless 
he like dies somehow or his game crashes. I, I don't see a world where Swarm doesn't win this. Wow, 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 wow. Crazy race back and forth nearly the entire time. A six minute deficit in the second castle. Six minutes and Swarm still comes back. I don't think I, we've ever seen anything that crazy before. This is definitely the largest comeback we've had in this entire tournament. Is this an upset? This is the first race Dinner Dog will be losing in the entirety of the tournament. So you can classify that as an upset. I think Dinner Dog also technically had a higher seeding than Swarm at the start, so. I mean, it only took fi to get to finals before Dinner Dog loses a race finally. But we still have two more after this. Or one more, we don't know. We have at least one more race after this, possibly two. Swarm does need to actually finish up here. I doubt he's gonna die. He has Alucard Shield spell active. He'll be fine. But we'll see, we'll see. I mean, Swarm's computer blue screened the other day in the middle of a race. I'm not saying it's gonna happen again, but that is a thing that did happen. Yeah, wow. Swarm already basically done. At what point did Swarm enter the second castle? Does anyone know? This most recent time? Because I it looks like he's like multiple minutes ahead now. So Dinner Dog like lost like 10 minutes almost, it feels like, over the course of just the second castle. Into getting the final Vlads. It's crazy. I'm talking about when he most recently entered the second castle right now. Must have been like a minute and a half ago or something like that. About an hour and 10 minutes in, yeah. Crazy. So Dinner Dog lost like another two, maybe three minutes. That's crazy. And by the time Dinner Dog gets back to the second castle, it looks like Swarm is gonna be pretty much finishing this out. I mean, it's Alucard Shield. You don't really need much else. All right, you've earned it. GG's. I'll give you the 1-0 right now. Even though the race isn't over, it's... It may not be over, but it's Jover. Yeah, an eight-minute swing. Granted, this seed was pretty long, so eight minutes is, like, proportionally not as long as, like, another, like, a nimble seed would be. But still, that is a huge swing in momentum overall. Insane race overall. In one hour, 13 minutes, 13 seconds. GG's. Holy crap. What a race. How? How? How is it that I've been so defeated? You have been doomed ever since you lost the ability to love. Ah, uh, uh, sarcasm. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the world? Let me let them know what's going on. All right. Uh, if you're watching this on Dragon Blitz Daily, first of all, subscribe. There's more races to come. And second of all, uh, we will be back in literally one second with the next race. And we're back for race number... Two, Swarm just won the last one, and Dinner Dog has chosen to go to Lycanthrope as the counter pick. Uh, hello? Did something go wrong? Oh, my stream was behind, and we're back. We're back. I was worried there for a second. <laughs> we are back. <clears throat> Woot.
Woot, indeed. Thank you, Metal Gear Chrono, for the Tier 3. Yet another Tier 3 getting us closer to blindfolded Soten. Almost halfway there. And that's massive support towards our goal of Partner Plus. Appreciate it. But yeah, we just had a pretty close race. Honestly, an insane race between Swarm and Dinner Dog. It was going back and forth. Dinner Dog looked like he had it in the bag with a massive comeback you from Swarm. Souls and make them your slaves. Uh, bro, how am I supposed to say that? Cacao is definitely how you pronounce that, and there's probably nothing I'm missing on that. But thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. <laughs> And Swarm, off to a pretty decent start already. This could be the very last race of the main bracket of the tournament here. And it could all come down to Swarm ending it all right here, right now. Up 1-0. Both of them you getting... Men's souls and make them your slaves. Death Skip, thank you, Bionji, for the tier one. Much appreciated. Ooh, Covenant Stone, increasing uh, some stats that way. And also, Gravity Boots at the start. Very, very, very interesting. Dinner Dog should be proficient at Dark Wolf. I don't think Dinner Dog would counterpick this preset without being proficient at uh, the Lycanthrope tech. In fact, I know he's good at it. One of the reasons why I know he's good at it is because... Is this, this is what we're doing? This is what we're doing? We're all tier three in right now? I appreciate it, Suna. Thank you so much. The reason I'm getting hyped for Dinner Dog is because this is a high-level play we've seen a lot of players uh, employ early game, where if you find Gravity Boots at the start, you could actually reset the entirety of the Castle Keep. No! Dinner Dog! Grab the bat! Okay. So this doesn't matter that, that, that much in Lycanthrope, but still... Deer Dog has access to Bat way earlier than Swarm. So this is a pretty early divergence and route. And we've seen in Lycanthrope when Gravity Boots is the first relic. If you deload uh, Castle Entrance, then reload it again, Death leaves. Slogger and Guybon chill at the, um, the entrance here. But what ends up happening is you then have access to whatever that relic is early, and it's usually a lot more efficient. So right now, Dinner Dog has access to uh, Soul of Bat, where Swarm does not. And we'll see how that ends up mattering. I mean, they both have flight because um, that was out of logic flight, but still, we'll, we'll we'll keep an eye on how this affects Dinner Dog's movement and Dinner Dog's decision-making. But for right now, it doesn't directly lead to progression, so it doesn't like matter, kind of, but. Dude. Are you guys trying to make me cry right now? Calm down. <laughs> I mean, I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Dart Zero, for the tier three. Holy shit. I, I appreciate the support, guys. It means a lot. Genuinely means a lot. Somebody likes Summoning Salt. Oh, man. We're, we're getting real close to blindfolded. I really. Ooh, library card for Swarm. Oh no, I'm gonna have to do blindfolded Soten, aren't I? Thank you. <laughs> Pile of secrets for the tier three as well. Oh my God. We tier threed so hard that I lost the fact that Swarm skipped the Sagar and Gaibon check, huh? Well, surely it doesn't matter, right? It's not important. It's, see, it's literally nothing. Guys, you guys are freaking... Swarm knows what to do here, all right? Swarm obviously did all the calculations in his brain. He surely didn't just forget the location. Because he knew it was going to be nothing. Also, we find Jewel of Open and then Merman Statue that was flight locked. So Swarm is probably going straight for the, the caverns now, right? Wow. Insane. Absolutely insane. Now, the question is, that could end up being bait, funny enough. 
It's very possible that it's bait, but... Did Swarm get the warp to uh, Aurox's quarters? No. Okay, that's possibly worrisome. Because the issue with doing early caverns and catacombs is, like, once you're done, what do you do? Like, how do you leave the catacombs? I guess you library card? But I feel like saving that library card for, like, a, a first castle or for a second castle back to first castle play most of the time ends up being better. Warping to entrance just feels bad, I feel like, but... Okay, if you have two library cards, then fuck it. Do whatever you want. Was that a third library card? Did I miss that? While Ice from Hell subs for tier three? Did he pick up another one? Did I miss that? What? But. Well, now, yeah, just library card whenever you want, man. Like, f fuck, dude. Go crazy. Doesn't matter. Oh my god, we're four subs away from Blindfolded Soten. We're four tier three subs away. I thought I would have had to, like, I thought I had a month. I thought I had a month. No. Sorry, I don't know how to count. I said four, I meant three. <laughs> Thank you, Sephiroth. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. This is insane. Genuinely, this is insane. Wow. Wow. In theory, would that happen today? <laughs> yeah, I'll just, without practice, go into blindfolded Soten. That, that's a great idea. It worked out so well the last time we tried it. Uh, Swarm also skipping Succubus? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Swarm? Either Swarm is playing hyper-aggressive right now to try and take advantage of the fact that he's up 1-0. Or he's throwing because he knows that the content is better if it's 1-1 one, one in the set. Or he's just really nervous. I like Dinner Dog's play of getting this warp first, but as we know, it kind of doesn't matter as much because of the library card situation, but still. And it's missed. Wow. That makes the library card a lot better. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Tribute. Insane. You steal men's souls and make them awesome, Uno. Appreciate the prime sub. Means a lot. Thank you. Dude, this is crazy. So, right now, Swarm has skipped. Succubus? Don't have enough to tier three, but take my prime, love your content. Well, thank you. Again, tier three is not, it's a lot of money. That's why I'm freaking out every time somebody does it. Oh God. <laughs> Joel, thank you. Luciano, I appreciate that. Holy shit. <laughs> it's a lot of money. And it helps support so much, genuinely. Like. If we get partner plus, that's like insane. Swarm did do succubus. Okay, I got lied to, got it. Succubus had nothing. See, you guys keep subbing and I keep losing track of what's happened to this race. And my commentary is bad now. <laughs> but I appreciate it a lot. There's the library card for dinner dog. Swarm out here soul stealing to stay alive. You seem to feel comfortable talking about the tier three stuff. I appreciate it. I don't know. Sometimes I get in my own head because I've had some um, very unsavory comments thrown my way from probably just some really sad individuals telling me to stop talking about it. But ultimately, I'm trying to make it worth you guys' uh, time, money, and effort to help support me. That's all I want. Yeah, I, I know that the um, the regional pricing also matters a lot, Ramirez. All right. 
interesting jump from Swarm. I don't think he meant to go that high, and now this is, yeah, that, like, wooden platform is really janky. You can't, like, fall through it in wolf form. I don't know. We found that Holy Symbol had Echo, which means Spike Breaker is in logic past Flight, because on the Flight layer, we already found Bat. Now, here's the thing. I can't even finish my sentence. I can't even, I just want to finish one sentence. Just one, just one sentence. Six months in advance? What? what? <laughs> well, there we go. We're at 16 now, I think. 17? 17. I can't even talk. 18? Is that true? Oh my God. Thank you, Brando. Thank you, Kane Wind. Thank you, Zanuck Knight. Thank you, Kessler. Thank you, Critical Construction. Thank you, guys. Genuinely. Holy shit. Wow. So now, <laughs> back to the match. <laughs> full sensory deprived any percent. I'm going to sit in a full sensory deprivation tank, floating, unable to feel, unable to think. Meanwhile, they're gonna hook my brain up to Soten and I just have to play the game in my through my imagination alone. Are we partner plus now? Maybe. I have no clue. Meanwhile, back in the, the, the land of speedrunning, um, Swarm now has access to Soul of Bat. Dinner Dog gets Soul uh, Form of Mist. Swarm got a Dragon Helm drop, according to ASD. So that's gonna help with combat. Generally, combat's not too, too tricky in Lycanthrope. Once you find, like, maybe a decent shield, um, there's a lot of useful weapons that exist. Wow. You guys are fucking insane, dude. You guys are fucking insane. Uh, I appreciate it so much. I'm so excited to, to calculate how close we are to Partner Plus now. That was at least 60 points. Jesus Christ. Wow. Insane. Yeah, blindfolded is going to be fun. He says. Not realizing how it won't be fun at all. So, Dinner Dog is... Ooh. I was kind of hoping Dinner Dog would skip this check. Because this, this is a classic check from when I won the Lycanthrope tournament. Oh, classic Dragon Blitz talking about how he won an entire tournament of Lycanthrope by skipping this check. Wow. Yes. I th This check that Dinner Dog is doing right now. My, me being adamant about skipping it when I did is the reason I ended up winning the tournament over Jupiter last time. Yeah, tier ones, tier twos, and tier threes all count. I'm so. interested in this. Hype continues. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. I appreciate that a lot. That, thank you for the 10 million bajillion dollars as the hype continues. Rooshed. What am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with this? We'll keep counting. Fuck it. We'll, we'll keep counting the tier threes. <laughs> Make it 19. Oh my God. You guys are insane. Yeah, my personal Grand Falloon skip uh, at the time was, ooh, Dracula Tunic for Dinner Dog. That's actually quite good. And a Garnet. So they all they both have money. They both have library cards. They both have decent attack uh, buffs. Uh, obviously, Dragon Helm is slightly better than uh, Drac Tunic, but Drac Tunic is good. It increases your attack by a decent amount. Swarm also got an Alucard Sword. Nice. Yeah, okay. Things are looking good. Swarm, ooh, Masamune for Dinner Dog, though. Masamune is insane, actually. So they both have pretty decent uh, uh, attacking weapons. Oh, Swarm also has the Masamune. Okay, good. Ooh, Swarm. Hold on. I thought we were a blind bat uh, connoisseur. 
for the for the Dark Wolf strats. Instead, switches to Bat, says, screw it. I'll wing smash my way through here. Ooh, with the Mist Bat, too, to save time. They both found the gold ring here in the uh, mines as well. You start with Shaman Shield and Lycanthrope, yep. The, the idea behind the Lycanthrope preset is you're starting... Um, Equipment is always the same. It was kind of meant to be somewhat of a joke preset. Ooh, glasses. And grabs the second Garnet just to be safe. And library cards. Says, screw Grand Flame. So yeah, it was meant to be kind of a joke preset in a weird way. Um, with, um... You're kind of like cosplaying as a shaman who, who can transform into a wolf. AKA a lycanthrope. Basically a werewolf. Uh, magic man. Um, so in doing so, Mouse, when he created this, was like, hey, what if I just give you a bunch of intelligence buffing um, items? Like Shaman Shield plus um, Shield Rod is a buff to increase your intelligence. Um, the armor that you're wearing increases your intelligence, and you have the Mystic Pendant to increase your magic regeneration. So those are guaranteed every time you start a Lycanthrope Seed. Um, so you're Better off using spells a lot of the time for combat uh, early on in a Lycanthrope Seed. But the consequence of giving the same starting gear every single time is that you start with a Shield Rod, which is huge. So, Damn, you're telling me a Lycanthrope to this seed? God damn. Shit. That joke is never not funny. Oh, no! Well, well, well. The thing is, it looks unlikely to be in logic, though, right? Right? It, it, it looks like it's a random Vlad at best, right? Don't doom. Don't be so doom and gloom, everybody. It's very possible that it's nothing. What did Swarm just find? Wolf? No, that's stupid. They started with Wolf. He found nothing. So... Yeah, because the highest complexity location they've checked so far is right here, where Dinner Dog is checking um, Spike Breaker. Well, actually... Shared complexity, perhaps? Well, they already have Mist, actually. And Jewel of Open, actually. Their flight was out of logic. Flight has to be in Castle Keep, so it's... So at best, it's Spike Breaker? Or a random Vlad? So if it's in logic... Uh... Uh-oh. Extra long load times. Yeah, this is tough to calculate. There might be some shared complexity going on here. They're going to get some mana prisms. Meanwhile, Swarm is gaming. My brain is absolutely melted because I just got freaking like 20 tier 3 subs for in the last 10 seconds. Um, but I think... My gut is telling me that the Holy Glasses location itself is a random location. It is not, like, a next step in the, the complexity chain. The only progression items it could possibly have that they don't already have access to is Spike Breaker, which in this preset doesn't mean anything, because Spike Breaker doesn't actually unlock anything, um, necessarily. So, Holy Glasses is not Flight, because um, Flight was locked... Um, the, the, the rings were flight locked. One of the rings was flight locked, I'm pretty sure. Right? Because Grand Floon is a flight location. No, it's not. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, Swarm is going, uh, because Swarm can do everything, it looks like Swarm is backtracking now to combine everything that he missed in this side of the castle? Yeah, he's gonna do Forbidden Route to go to get to All Rocks. 
He'll do um, Coliseum, All Roxas Quarters, and then Silver Ring, and then go to Castle Keep. Very interesting. Very interesting. Did I get Partner Plus with those subs? Um, I do not know. I don't know because it doesn't calculate automatic. It doesn't calculate right away. I'll know by tomorrow. But my guess is no. Because we started today with like 150. And all of those subs was about 60 points. So we're well over 200 out of 350 for sure. So we're very close. And we are only 10 days into the month. Yeah, Dinner Dog is going to go keep fur. No, he's not. Oh, he's going to check Holy Glasses first and then do... Yeah, he's going to do Holy Glasses first, which is likely nothing... Oh, no. Unless this is a random Vlad. I think Dinner Dog loses, like, right here, right now. Hold on. This is a massive advantage because Dinner Dog getting that warp means nothing now. Swarm having skipped that warp because Dinner Dog's not even using that warp to get here. Yeah, straight up, this 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 is looking real tough. Granted, a massive comeback just came uh, on the back of uh, Swarm getting a library card and using it uh, and all that stuff, but... This kind of has to be a random, Vlad, for Dinner Dog to be, like, guaran like, guaranteed a very great spot. Otherwise, I think he's down, like, a couple minutes. It's very possible that Swarm also goes left side and gets screwed because of that, maybe? And that gives Dinner Dog enough time to catch up? If this isn't a random Vlad? Now, if this is a random Vlad, Dinner Dog low-key kind of wins. Okay, so... It was Leapstone, so I miscalculated because I missed a lot of the locations of where those rings were. I thought those rings were flight locked, which is my bad. So it was flight. Okay. And Swarm gets another Dragon Elm. So access to Leapstone, I mean, will help speed up Dinner Dog's movement generally, but is it enough to make up for... It's like only two minutes. It's not that bad. It's not that far. He's not that far behind, actually. Right? Because we can calculate it. It's, it's basically the difference between um, getting the Grand Flame. Or sorry. So what is that? 3445 to touch the door to get here to All Rocks was the name I was trying to say. No, Silver Ring probably has the final Vlad. Most likely. Which means the rest of the Vlads are random. So it was 23.45. Oh, Swarm. Just use Masamune. Whoa. Kind of a throw. Oh, Dinner Dog's only about a minute behind, actually. I don't think Swarm has extra checks at all, no. Yeah, Dinner Dog's checks were just more efficient. He's less than a minute behind, and he's going to have a cleaner fight because he's using the Masamune instead of the Alucard Sword. Masamune shreds all rocks. Look at that. Two specials to get to second phase. It's like two or three specials to kill second phase. Two specials. So much cleaner. Hold on. And having Leapstone will speed him up throughout the castle. This is not over yet. Hold on. Wait a minute. We were maybe a little too quick. Too quick to judge. But let's not let's not get it twisted. Swarm is still ahead. 
whoever has Leapstone wins. To be fair, that's usually how it goes. Leapstone is very, very nice to have. Having access to a double jump and a dive kick in this game is so great. Genuinely so great. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dinner Dog. In the menu for a little too long here. And this should be a Vlad Relic. Unless everything I know is a lie. And we're good. Alright. So that was the final Vlad Relic. Everything else is random from here. Complexity... 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 Doesn't matter, is what I'm trying to say. Swarm doesn't have any magic! Oh no! He's gonna... Mist could pass! Mist could pass! Dinner Dog, you don't have a lot of magic, either! Be careful! Oh, he has a Mana Prism! He went to the shop and bought Mana Prisms! Swarm just remembered that he also had Mana Prisms! Mist could pass. We're not even looking at a minute anymore. This is like 25 seconds, 30 seconds. Oh my god. Mist could pass! Mist could pass! Insane. Okay, Swarm is saying, screw it, I'm using the Masamune now. Good, 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 good. Oh! Hold on. No Maria skip. If Dinner Dog hits Maria's skip, because he hit it in the first seed, if he hits it again, that's another like like five to ten seconds. I actually don't know how much time it saves. But Maria's skip is pretty big. Like he's already here. Hold on. We're gonna use the entering castle keep as the timer. Touches the red door. 2725. Oh, Dinner Dog, I think might have messed it up. Unless. Yeah, he messed it up a little. It was 2725. They're both using a lot of MP to wing smash around. 2755. So 30 seconds? Dinner Dog is only 30 seconds behind. This is best of three. Best of five, we would be here for like 10 hours. <laughs> Maybe not. We would be here for like an entire day. It'd be like an eight-hour affair if we did a best of five and it went to game five. So for the sanity of everybody involved, we're doing best of three. However, there are still more matches. Even though this is the tournament finals, we still have tomorrow scheduled um, the third place pride match between Scrimps and Fire 1520. So they got they both tied for fourth as far as the um, like placements is concerned. However, since it was best of one, they didn't get a chance to uh, race each other. So they're gonna play it out for who gets third place versus fourth place. And it's just for pride, it doesn't change the the um, the um, like prize pool or anything like that for them, so. And whoever wins this tournament match, I will be inviting, what is Dinner Dog doing? I'll be inviting to do a best of three versus myself in what I am calling Thug Finals because I didn't get to enter my own tournament. So I want to see maybe did, he, did I even have a chance to win my own tournament? I just, I just, I just want to know. I, I just want to know. We'll figure out who's going to host that match and where it'll be streamed from. I'll obviously be streaming my perspective here um, on my YouTube and my Twitch. But as far as, like, both screens and whatnot, I can't have that set up on my own stream because then I'd be able to watch the opponent's stream just by looking at my OBS, which is not really fair. Um, so, yeah, we have Thug Finals afterwards. Meanwhile, only 20-second difference right now. Dinner Dog has saved 10 seconds since last time. It looks like Swarm's lead is slowly dwindling, and Dinner Dog has two extra checks. I might be able to get um, Bobby to help out. I might be able to get um, Jupiter, maybe, to stream it. That's a possibility. Because, I mean, I streamed uh, his matches. 
from his tournament, so. Maybe. We'll see. Are they both doing left side? No way. Dinner Dog did get the warp. Wait, don't they have? Yeah, because they have library cards. Maybe Dinner Dog knows that Swarm is a left side Andy and said the only way to beat left side is to left side myself. He doesn't even check the relic? Dinner Dog, what are you doing? Dinner Dog forgot to check the relic. It was pow. They're both just forgetting to check stuff, but it's so close. <laughs> The power of mist helps though because you don't lose magic when you transform into mist at all. It's helpful for this room as well because if things go wrong, power of mist can save you. Ooh, dinner dog's looking scary. This is where power of mist would be nice. Slash the sword, dinner dog. Ooh, his defense is real low. If he gets turned to stone, he might die. They are both living on a knife's edge. With these races, they both have had um, uh, equipment that, have, that has lowered their defense between the two um, seeds. Swarm gets a, a, to, to pad his lead a little bit from here, but it's not safe by any means. Daredog is going to have to be careful every time he does a missed bat, because if he's too slow, you'll look uh, on his MP bar, he'll lose a chunk of MP by missed batting if he does it too slow. Meanwhile, Swarm doesn't have to worry about that at all. Like right there, Daredog lost a, a chunk of MP by transforming into mist. He just lost another chunk of MP by transforming into Mist. So Swarm is going to have better MP management because of that. So Dinner Dog has to basically, yep, loses another chunk right there. He might not have enough MP to make it all the way up if he's slow on these Mist Bats. He's also messing up the uh, the inputs here for the Wing Smash here. He, I don't think he has enough. Yeah, you don't have enough, Dinner Dog. You got to just fly the rest of the way like normal. And not getting that power of mist already is losing dinner dog time. This is why I always grab power of mist, by the way. Because also, what's up with creature having Vlad relics? Can we talk about this? Fellas. Fellas. Ooh, this is so stupid, says ASD in the chat right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, hold on. I need a freaking. I'm going to pin that real quick. I agree. This is so stupid. Holy. These guys are, are playing very silly. Oh, Dinner Dog, you got no magic. Swarm's got so much magic. Remember when Creature gave us nothing? Those were simpler times. Dude. Creature skippers in shambles. That's for sure. Oh, wait, they have mana prisms. I forgot, Dare Dog bought like five mana prisms. No, he's chill. I'm freaking out over nothing. And Swarm! Uh-oh, don't get cock lasered. It's still so insanely close. 42? 46? Four seconds behind? Five seconds behind? That's it? He's in the menu again. Oh, but he skips the save. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is insane. Swarm wasted a mana prism on accident? Oh, man. The spaghetti is coming through right now. Wow. Did they full clear first castle, by the way? Outside of Grand Falloon for Swarm. Attack potion. That's not nothing. That's actually pretty good. Two attack potions, even. There's the last mana prism for Swarm. I think Dinner Dog might have one or two. He has three more. Those three mana prisms might be what it takes for Dinner Dog to, to, to overcome this uh, deficit. It's not even that bad. It's only a handful of seconds. It was a uh, 35, 18. 
35-22. Whoa, Masamune! Swarm, what are you doing? The dinner dog! Dinner dog just saved like three seconds! Dinner dog's ahead! No fucking way, dude! Was that Alucard Shield? Oh, but he gets hit by the octopus! You gotta know that the octopus are out to get you. Oh no, he grabs the demon card! This is so close! Somebody hold me, chat. Chat, I don't know who's gonna win. It's the Alucard Shield! It's Jover! No! It's so close! Oh my god. There's still two Vlad Relics remaining. There's still two Vlad Relics remaining. It's going to come down to execution from here, which is insane. Because they're taking the same route. They have the same items. The only thing different is that Dinner Dog has uh, extra Mana Prisms. So if those Mana Prisms don't come into play, it's not an actual advantage. And right now, Swarm's movement is ever so slightly cleaner. Just a little bit. Oh, Dinner Dog also has Leapstone, I forgot! Leapstone gets him ahead! The movement advantage of having Leapstone! Grand Falloon mattered! I forgot about Leapstone! Holy shit, that actually helps Dinner Dog at this, this moment right here. Just, just, you, just, oh, Dinner Dog, don't die! Clean fight from Dinner Dog? There it is, clean fight. I've never thought to stand on those platforms and use the Masamune special like that. Normally I do what Swarm does and just jump and then do the double slashes. That's another Vlad Relic. It all comes down to this one Vlad Relic left. Does somebody skip? Gallimoth? No way. No way you... S Surely you check Gallimoth, right? Although the odds are... Dinner Dog skipping Gallimoth. Oh my god! And Swarm's going to Gallimoth, maybe? Swarm's going to Gallimoth! It all comes down to this! This is it! It's kind of like skipping creature if you think about it, right? Because on the, the right side of the castle, you have Medusa, Trio, Akhmedon, and um, Beezlebub. So it's a one in five chance. The same as skipping creature. So skipping Gallimoth in this scenario is the same odds as skipping Creature. And I think Dinner Dog calculated that. Whoa. So Swarm, at this point, if he wants to win, Dinner Dog either needs to die because he has the Muscle Moon and his defense is really low, or Gallimoth has to have the final Vlad Relic. He's gambling it all on a 20% chance here. To be fair, Dinner Dog is putting his balls on the table and saying, surely, ooh, okay, 25% chance, let's say. 25% chance that it's there, that's a low enough chance for me to skip it and get a massive advantage. It's like two minutes of time save right here. Honestly, huge props for skipping Gallimoth. I think I think it's a big, big brain play. I think it's better than skipping Creature because you can get back to Gallimoth faster using the warp system because the mind teleporter is right there. Straight up, left side skipping Gallimoth is better than right side skipping um, Creature. I really want this to work out for Dinner Dog. Not to be biased commentator, but I think this is a big brain play. The numbers, it adds up. <gasps> no! I mean, Swarm is fine. He just basically has to do the no hit challenge that I did for my all achievements run for Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Yeah, it's basically the same. Just spam the spell. Easy. If it's here and Swarm wins, I mean, what a way to go out. It just means you got unlucky, Dinner Dog. It just means you got unlucky. No! There is no God! What do you mean? Left side, it was all left side, dude. It was all left side. How could this happen? No fucking shot.
Dinner Dog, the, the numbers were on your side, man. The math, it added up, it made sense. Oh, God, that just hurts, man. That just hurts. Always skip Grand Faloon, never skip Gallimoth, I guess. Swarm... Swarm wins. Swarm wins the tournament, like, just like that. On a one in five. Wow. Man, I really, really, really liked that play. It, it, it was a one in five, dude. But I mean, that's the equivalent of losing a race because you skipped creature, I guess. So it comes down to at the end of the day, sometimes creature skippers get punished. Sometimes Gallimoth skippers get punished. But to actually have a seed where you had the chance to skip Gallimoth and it be like in your favor, man. And then you're like, oh, I can I can execute on this idea that has like a good 80% chance. 80% chance. Man. I really like Dinner Dog's routing idea. I really did. But at the end of the day... Oh, Swarm, be careful. Don't crash the game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can... Wait, he doesn't have a Spirit Orb. Never mind. He's fine. If you had Spirit Orb, and if you kill the, um, the Rock Knights in a particular way, you can crash the game. That would have been a very funny way for the race to end. <laughs> if Swarm accidentally crashed the game there. That would have been funny. Nah, you're right. Swarm... Swarm made some insane plays this entire tournament. I was hoping for a game three, because I feel like high level tournament race like this, races like this, they don't happen all the time. So selfishly, I wanted to see a game three. I'm sure a lot of people watching at home wanted to see a game three as well. Man. Uh, something to do with like the, the I don't know, actually. Uh, Jakov uh, X Fate. There were people talking about it in the, the Discord. When it was discovered. I forget exactly how it works, though. Yeah, we are going to be doing blindfolded 90% at some point. I'm going to start learning probably tomorrow. Um, we'll do some Aria All Achievements. We'll do learning blindfolded. Um, and we have the tournament match, the third place match tomorrow. So tomorrow's stream, that's probably what we're doing, is those three things. Damn, dinner dog. Damn. Absolutely insane, though. What a wild ride. What a tournament. What a insane series of races we've had. The Swarm, by the way, just want to point this out there, never played the randomizer. Ever. Never played the randomizer before this tournament started. Pretty much Swarm picked up speedrunning the randomizer for this tournament. And here he is winning the whole thing. With left side, nonetheless. Left side truly is the best side sometimes. Why is Dinner Dog library carding? What did he leave back in the first castle? There it is, under 45 minutes. Trouble the soul. Yo, GG's. Mother, no oh, was that, it was Jeez. at um, Gallimoth, right? Oh. Yeah, they're talking about it. Yeah, that, I yeah. skipped Gallimoth. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> been so defeated. I just skipped yeah, I had the word no. I had so oh, right man, the I probably would have been way ahead then. Oh shit. my goodness, I had... yeah, I was so worried because of that. Yo, GG's yeah, swarm. Uh, the Gallimoth's GG. Uh, GG's. GG's to you as well, Dinner Dog. I just wanted to come in and congratulate you two for fantastic tournament finals couldn't ask for better matches I, I definitely recommend you guys watch them back when you get a chance to because they were insanely close the entire time and some of the best races i've ever seen genuinely so congratulations to both of you especially you swarm ggs for your first tournament ever and taking it all home <laughs> gg yeah dude dinner dog skipping gallimoth 
They're I know. With no, the, don't with feel the b- Mune, though. It's gonna take forever. Don't feel bad because it's it's a it's a one in five. It's the same as skipping creature. Yeah, exactly. It's the same as skipping yeah, that's creature. That's what I was dude. thinking too. Was that it was gonna take so long, and if it's not the answer, then I have such a big tempo going through the rest of the castle. So I'm just like, you know what? Let's go. Yeah, that was that's a, how it goes though. Sometimes, honestly, it, you guys were so back and forth, so close that entire race, and that being the deciding factor was um, understandable for sure. Because like. Who knows? At that point, it would have came down to execution if you both took the exact same route, and you guys were trading the lead back and forth. So it, it would have been oh, uh, very interesting, nonetheless. But uh, mm. anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. I just wanted to say thank you guys for being a part of the tournament, and uh, congratulations to both of you. Thank you, GG. Yeah, thanks, GGs. Wow, what a what a wholesome, fun time. GGs to the swarm for winning. What a, I, what a great time. What a great, fantastic tournament. GG's. Let's go. Oh, man. I want to say thank you, everybody, for watching the streams, watching all the races over on uh, YouTube.com slash Dragon Blitz Daily. You should subscribe, by the way, if you're watching on Dragon Blitz Daily. Thanks for everybody who's watching on uh, the YouTube channel, dra- youtube.com slash Dragon Blitz. You subscribe there as well. You steal Ice from L, thank you for the gifted. Much appreciated. Left Side Gaming for the win. Let's go ahead for the last time during this tournament. How often do these tournaments run? Usually like twice a year, the community will come together and do a tournament. Let's go ahead and raid the Swarm. Hop in on this raid. Let's Let's show some love to the winner of the tournament. First tournament ever taking home a massive W. If you're in the YouTube chat and you also want to join the raid, I'll link the uh, the channel right here. Yeah, show the Swarm some love. Show some love to Dinner Dog as well if you can. Show love to everybody who participated in the tournament. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys supporting. Appreciate all the Tier 3 subs today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Oh, you guys already paid out? Oh, no, I'll pay out right now. There you go. There's your money. There's your money. There's your Garnet coin. <laughs> All righty, y'all. Yeah, hop in this raid. Share some love. Congratulate the winner. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with yet another race. It's going to be Fire versus Scrimps for third place. Tribute. Thank you, Cervante, for the tier one. Take it easy, everybody, and and have a great night.